the Brothers Karamazov, Book 9, Chapter 9. You know, earlier uh, today, I was uh, on the Verizon website, and I noticed uh, in my plan information that both my wife and I uh, were both due for an upgrade, and my wife had been uh, due for an upgrade for almost a year and a half, and her uh, iPhone version was probably five versions uh, old. And so what did I do? I did what probably 99.9, .9, if not 100% of people do. I went ahead and I purchased two phones and uh, purchased two upgrades uh, to be sent to my house in a couple days. And uh, I just kept scrolling and scrolling on my phone and clicking, yes, 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 I have read, yes, I have done this, yes, I have done this. And then I hit submit uh, because uh, it was just too taxing and uh, I wouldn't understand even if I tried all of the, uh, the legal language and the technical language in a contract. I just assume that a major company like Verizon isn't going to, uh, isn't going to do anything untoward or, or shady. I just went ahead and I signed it without understanding what it is I was signing. Dimitri didn't do that. He, uh, he should have read this. He, he signs uh, whatever the, uh, the prosecutor puts in front of him. He just signs it without looking at it. He doesn't read the terms and conditions. He just signs what the prosecutor uh, uh, hands him. But then here's what uh, he says. Gentlemen, we're all cruel. We're all monsters. We all make men weep and mothers and babes at the breast. But of all, let it be settled here now, of all, I am the lowest reptile. I've sworn to amend, and every, done, every day I've done the same filthy things. I understand now that such men as I need a blow, a blow of destiny to catch them as with a noose and bind them by a force from without. Never, never should I have risen of myself, but the thunderbolt has fallen. I accept the torture of accusation and my public shame. I want to suffer, and by suffering I shall be purified." Perhaps I shall be purified, gentlemen, but listen for the last time. I am not guilty of my father's blood. I accept my punishment not because I killed him, but because I meant to kill him. Perhaps I really might have killed him. Still, I mean to fight it out with you. I warn you of that. I'll fight it out with you to the end, and then God will decide. Goodbye, gentlemen. Don't be vexed with me for having shouted at you during the examination. Oh, I was such a, a fool then. And so uh, I think what uh, what's going on here, as I've said uh, before, is that uh, the whole point of the trial of Dmitry uh, Karamazov, to maybe put it over simply, uh, is this, is that uh, humanity is on trial. We saw with Ivan that God was on trial in book five, and now uh, in the uh, future uh, chapters and books here, uh, as we uh, finish out the book, that uh, Dimitri is on trial. And so uh, is, uh, is Ivan right? Is the, is the Grand Inquisitor right? That the uh, free will has put a, such a burden on man that, uh, that God should not have given uh, men free will and that Jesus should have uh, said yes to all three temptations and, and given people uh, security and given people uh, morality and given people um, uh, food and, uh, and given people uh, an easier path to uh, belief than faith and hunger and, uh, and, uh, and a lack of, uh, of moral guidelines. Is Yvonne right? Well, uh, Dimitri is not guilty of murder, but what is he guilty of? What are the things that the prosecution can look to? What is making Dimitri look so culpable uh, of murder? Well, he uh, has lied to everyone. He has been filled with lust for Grishenka. He has been filled with uh, greed. Now, maybe not directly uh, greed for greed's sake, but greed is often uh, not greed just for greed's sake. Greed is, uh, money is the root of all kind of evils. And so uh, he has been uh, lusting for money in order to uh, obtain his, uh, his Grushenka. He's been dishonest. He has been uh, greedy. And what has he also been? He's been violent. He's, uh, he's uh, knocked over people. He's beat people almost to death a couple of times. And so uh, what is going on? Well, uh, Dimitri is doing things that all of us do. We're all uh, brutal. We're all liars. We're all uh, full of lust. We're all uh, after money. And so those are the things that are Dimitri's undoing. And so it looks like he's guilty of murder because he has made such poor choices in, in, 
such poor choices in all areas of his moral life that he looks uh, worthy to be condemned. And so um, he, in that sense, he is every man. He's every one of us. He, he perhaps might be a little bit more gross, a little grosser than you are in one of these aspects. But in reality, uh, he's, uh, he's not doing anything that the rest of us uh, haven't done in a million times. Maybe we, we can put on a more respectable air, but we all have the, uh, the lust for control and for uh, pleasure and for money that, uh, that Dimitri has here. So Dimitri uh, signs his own uh, uh, accusation. Then he says that I am you and you are me. We're all connected, which is, of course, another uh, Father Zosima uh, thing to say. We're all, we're all guilty. We're all condemned. And then the prosecutors have the wherewithal to respond like this. As a matter of fact, Dimitri, I've always been disposed to regard you as, so to speak, more unfortunate than guilty. All of us here, if I may make bold to speak for all, we are all ready to recognize that you are at bottom a young man of honor, but alas, one who has been carried away by certain passions to a somewhat excessive degree. So this is why Ivan uh, wrote the article in the first place. This is why Dostoevsky uh, wrote the book in the first place, is because uh, that uh, character isn't uh, ultimate. The prosecutors can even look at Dimitri and say, you know what, it is undeniable that you are a good person, uh, but still the facts uh, have to override the character. The, uh, well, our interpretation of what we think that, that you did has to override the person that we think that you are. And finally, Grushenka says of uh, Dimitri's character, I have told you I am yours, and I will be yours. I will follow you forever, wherever they may send you. For where, farewell. You are guiltless, though you have been your own undoing. So again, what is Dimitri guilty of? Avarice, of greed and lust and violence and anger and jealousy. What is he not guilty of? Murder. And Grushenka is recognizing that. Look, dude, you're guilty of a lot, but you're not a bad person. You're just, you're just like everyone else, and so I believe you implicitly. So that's the character of Dimitri, seen through Dimitri's eyes, seen through the prosecutor's eyes, and seen through Grushenka's eyes. And really, it's the question of the book. Uh, is every man, uh, Dimitri, is he capable of being redeemed or is he uh, incapable of re being redeemed? In other words, is, is Zosima right? Do, do saints have to suffer and then be redeemed, or is Yvonne right, where uh, free will is just too burdensome and people can't live by faith?